Hey everybody, here's the small group leader guide for day three. This is the gospel message talking about Jesus. Uh, we'll be focusing on Jesus' baptism, uh, where the Holy Spirit comes down in the form of a dove. The clouds part and you hear the Father's voice talking about Jesus being his beloved son. Uh, the takeaway is God sent Jesus to save us. First activity is called the form of a dove. It's kind of a crafty activity. Kids will get one of these uh, doubled up cardstock doves. They'll take the scissors, cut in between the wings, cut a little bit on that side and a little bit on that side. And there are some folding instructions, a copy for each child in your group on how to fold the wings and then fold the uh, kind of the middle piece there. And then they can fold it up, paper clip it. Here's what it will look like. It's a pretty simple craft. And it's really cool where they can hold it up above their head, drop it, and it helicopters down to help review the story of the Holy Spirit coming on Jesus in the form of a dove. And if they want, there are some crayons that they can color their dove with, but some kids may want to leave it white. The next activity is more of a discussion-based activity, uh, helping kids understand uh, where they are in their relationship with God. Uh, we'll get you a little mini whiteboard and some dry erase markers so you can draw a heart and then discuss the aspect of God loved. Uh, talking about John 3.16. You can then erase that and draw a cross and explain how God gave his only son. And just uh, look through that so that you can articulate that well to the kids. And then there are the level up cards where we want kids to write their name on the back and then circle where they feel like they are right now in their relationship with Jesus. So it's, an pretty poor, it's a pretty important activity for us to get to during this week of VBS. For first grade, they actually have a little bit different version of that level up activity. It's the same principle, uh, but we have these feet cutouts, and then there's a diagram for you to lay the feet out in this pattern. We'll have some hula hoops where you can kind of lay them out and create like a little uh, hopscotch kind of course with the feet cutouts. And then in your guide, in the discussion part, uh, it kind of mimics what is on this card as well. So hopefully that'll help some younger kids understand this really big idea, but important idea. The last activity is the same for either group, but it's called Power Up Pass, and it's a memory verse activity. So your group will get a bean bag, and then you wanna begin by reciting the memory verse as a group, and then next, have everyone sit in a circle, or you can stand and then begin passing the beanbag and guide each child to say a word of the verse as they pass the beanbag. Provide as much help as needed, but try to, get, try to encourage the kids to do it uh, all on their own. And when it's a child's turn to say the word power, guide that kid to strike a pose and hold the beanbag over his head as he or she says the word. Um, and then as you, do, as you do this activity, try to get the kids to go as fast as they can. Maybe if you have a timer on your phone or a wristwatch, you can kind of have like a beat the clock kind of challenge and see if the kids can pass the, the beanbag around and say the verse as quick as they can. But those are your three activities, the dove activity, the level up uh, activity, and then the beanbag memory verse activity. And that's day three.